Hey, what's up you guys? It's Andrew from Posh Designs, and today I have episode 21 on my weekly series called GFX to Friday, where I go into Photoshop, After Effects, Cinema 4D, or another demanding editing program, and I show you guys one tip that can be used in everyday editing. Now, in today's episode, it's going to be a very much awaited tutorial, and this is going to be how to make Call of Duty cinematics. So cinematics are used usually in montages, OCs, etc, etc. So let's take a look at what we're going to be making, and then we can hop on into After Effects. Alright, so as you guys see from the clip, really nice clip, really good motion, really good kind of lighting, and just the cinematic look with it, especially with the cinematic sounds, really makes this cinematic really go well together. So we're going to be uh, learning how to create this, so let's hop right on After Effects and let's get started. Now one thing I might say right before I do get started is that this is going to be a little bit more advanced tutorial. This is going to take some time, and uh, I just will go in some depth on some of the subjects that we're going to be talking about today. Now you will need two external plugins. This is going to require No Light Factory and as well as uh, Magic Bullet Look. So if you guys don't have those, uh, they are really good plugins. You guys are going to use them in every single project you guys do from now on in After Effects if you guys get them. I will drop a couple links in the description below if you guys want to go get them. They are a couple hundred dollars though, so if you guys aren't looking at uh, you know spending that amount of money and getting it fairly, um, you guys know that there's other ways to get them on YouTube. Um, but anyway guys, let's hop right in and uh, let's get started. So we're going to go to Composition, New Composition. I'm going to Composition name is just Call of Duty Cinematic. And I'm going to say the width at 1280 and the height at 720. Now with the frame rate, I'm going to set it at about 59.94 just because that's what my uh, HDPVR records in. Uh, whatever recording device you guys are using to record your guys' clips, um, you guys will use that frame rate. Uh, but the clip is provided this time from me. so. You guys don't have to worry about that right now. So 59.94, and I'm just going to select my duration to be about 10 seconds. So we'll turn that 5 into a 0, and my background color can just be black. So I'm going to select OK. And then right off the bat, you guys are just going to want to open up the description below and click on that Mediafire link. It should take you to a uh, Mediafire page that says uh, like Cinematic Toolbox by Posh Designs. Go ahead and download that. You guys are going to have to have WinRAR but it's not that hard to get WinRAR, just go on Google, type in WinRAR, uh, select your PC or Mac, and um, then just get WinRAR. Uh, after you guys download that pack though from the description, uh, you guys are just going to want to import it onto your desktop, as you guys see right here, I have it right here. Um, and basically this just has all our sounds, um, and it also has our clip, which is right here, uh, which our clip is right there at the bottom. So let's uh, import that into After Effects, so we're going to come over here to our project files and I'm going to double click select on my desktop and we're going to find cinematic toolbox so right here I'm just going to select all these and say open it might take a little time um, just say okay and now we have all this in here so we want to bring our clip in first of course so I'm going to bring that on in here and if we just want to go kind of through the clip real quick we see that Alright, we're going to turn this uh, down to half. If you guys don't have the best PC, um, right now I don't have a graphics card in my computer. Uh, I'm going to get one again. Um, I took mine out because I didn't like the way it was making my computer run at first. Um, so, yeah. But this clip is a HD clip, so it might be a little hard for some of your guys' PCs, but you guys will be able to get through it. Um, so right here we just have our clip, and then it's going to cut out at about 8. So uh, really what our render time is going to be is from about 0 to 8. So what we want to do off right off the bat is add, of course, our color correction. So the color correction can uh, be added after you guys have the magic bolt looks. Um, you guys can uh, click on the clip .wmv. You guys can go to Effect and then come on down here to Magic Bolt Looks, and we would just want to click Looks. We just want to click Edit, and we're going to wait for this to load up a little bit. And we're just going to come over here to Looks. If you just ho hover over down here at the bottom left uh, and just hold down Looks. You guys can have all of these um, blockbusters, a really widely used one, uh, Mexicali, uh, Bistrosity. Um, a lot of these are used a lot, and it just gives an amazing look to any project that you guys are doing. Um, Hot and Cold is a really nice one. It makes it kind of, uh, kind of almost like that dim, but it really, really, really looks really nice. So um, I'm just going to use a, a preset. It will just use maybe car um we'll go with 
I don't know, guys. We'll go with we'll just go with hot and cold for this one. And after we're done with that, all you have to do is press finished, and it'll pop up right here. Now this might even make um, your clip just a little bit even more laggy, just because of the fact that it's going to be um, that color correction does do a lot to it. So if your computer is lagging a lot and you guys can't move it or whatever, um, is what you guys can do is open down this drop menu, hit effects the drop down menu on this and come over here to the FX right here and if you just click that off it'll click on and off the um, uh, color correction sorry about that um, so now what we can do is add in our no light factory now the no light factory is going to give us that kind of pinkish look um, that it did uh, that you guys saw in the sample so what we can do with that is basically just go up here to effect we come down here to no light factory and then I use the LF glow and basically what that does is it adds this little guy right here and I basically uh, set the settings to about um, somewhere in the 130 range so I'll just say 130 and the global scale I turn it all the way up to 2 um, which is a lot um, so a lot of people usually don't use 2 but I find ways for them to work so we're gonna add that right there and then I'm gonna take the LF glow again so I'm gonna go up here to effect another LF glow and we're basically going to do the same setting so 130 on your global brightness and global scale up to 2 and we're just going to drag this down here just a little bit it's not too hard to drag them all you guys have to do is press that little guy right there and it'll drag so let's see how this looks with our um, color correction on so that looks pretty good All right. So right there, that was really easy to make that cinematic, and it looks like a really awesome cinematic. The cinematic looks great with this color correction, and just the LF glows kind of give like a, a kind of a new little thing to it. So, I mean, this is really easy to make, guys. Cinematics are not hard, and a lot of people think that they're hard, but they're really not. So let's get uh, let's just continue with it. Um, I am changing my global brightness up here on my LF glows to 140. So uh, if that means anything to you guys, you guys can change them as well. And we're going to do that. All right, so let's make sure we're going to go ahead in our timeline. And I'm just going to scroll on over here. All right, so that looks good still. We might take up the LF glows just down just a tad bit more. All right, so right about there. And now, really, all we have to do is add in our um, sounds. Now, the sounds are going to be kind of difficult because we want to make sure that we put them in kind of the correct places so we're going to first of all take our um, our type of song we want you guys don't have to use the one I'm using but I'm going to be using this one it's called negative future edit so well, I'm just going to take this and drop it right there and it'll pop up in our um, player right here and then what we can do is add in some wind the wind is always nice in cinematics just because it makes it more realistic um, and then you guys can play around with kind of the helicopters uh, in the cinematic toolbox. There are helicopters. This might get a little loud for you guys. Yeah, let me turn up my monitor real quick. All right. So this one sounds like this. And then uh, the other one, which will sound kind of a little bit louder. And that sounds just kind of like a, a more realistic one. Um, so I'm going to be using the uh, the chin hook high. So let's go back into After Effects, and I'm going to take chin chin hook high, and I'm just going to drop that on there. And then what we can do is add in um, the use that bomb. It's just going to be a bomb. It's really loud though, and it doesn't really go with what we're going for. So I can play it for you guys real quick. So it sounds insanely loud, and I don't like it, so I'm not going to be using that one. Um, you can also do the ghostly, eerie voice, which sounds a little bit weird, but it gives for a nice, intense kind of feel. So I'm not going to be using those, though. So the only ones I'm using are the uh, the Chinook High, the Wind, and then, of course, the song, which is the Negative Future Edit. So once you put those all together, it's going to go really nicely. Um, so I'm going to just pre-ram just a, a tad bit of it for you. And I'll just probably pre-ram this till about four seconds maybe. Uh, not very high. 
and like I said I'm not running my graphics card right now so my computer's not going to be of course at the top uh, performance that it's at um, with the graphics card in there uh, it renders way faster than this so alright so we're just going to play it real quick and now you guys get that same effect that you guys had uh, at the preview of what we're going to be making uh, today so that's how you guys basically make a cinematic to get it really nice and fading is what you guys can do is select all of these uh, down here in our project so we're going to select all those and we can press control shift and C and that's going to pre-compose them and we can just name this comp just select OK and then what you guys can do is hit T when you guys are selected on comp it's gonna bring up your guys opacity I'm gonna make this zero and then what we can do is keyframe that and then I can go to about one and a half second and I'm gonna push that up to 100 percent so it has a nice fade and then we can scroll on over to um, we'll say seven and I'll keyframe that to hit this button right here and then we can go over to eight oh one and we'll have that at zero percent alright so there we go and that'll sound nice as well and then what you guys are gonna want to do is reopen that comp and then make sure all of your guys's audio files are all synced together so they all shut off at the exact same time um, it's really bad when you have things that don't fade out uh, with others so what we can do is at 7 we can open up the Chinook High we can open up the audio you know open uh, and then right here we want to keyframe that as well as the wind keyframe that and as well as our audio for our song and then what we can do is go on over to 801 and just turn that all the way down so that's gonna be at negative 48 decibels so right there that'll just uh, fade away with what we have here um, the beginning you don't have to fade it away if it's a beginning cinematic um, if it is a beginning cinematic or I mean if it's not a beginning cinematic you probably want to fade it in and out um, if it's going from different audio files but with this one I'm not going to fade it in uh, with the music I'm just gonna fade it out so what we can do now is go up to composition add to render queue then we can hit lossless I'm gonna save this as a h.264 make sure you open up your format options right here and just make sure that everything is set up right so profile should be high level 5.1 uh, bitrate encoding select CVR and bitrate at uh, 300 and say OK and then we want to come down here to audio output select that go to format options and then make sure that this is at AAC high and turn the bitrate up to 320 that's just gonna make it sound amazing so our video is saved and perfect now we can always change these but leave it at mp4 and leave it uh, for standard so we're gonna say OK and OK and we can just hit render on this bad boy and that will start rendering out for you guys so what you guys are gonna want to make sure that you do do um, is stop this actually because I've done something uh, wrong right here and we want to X out a comp and make sure we are on the Call of Duty cinematic because um, that will not include you guys' uh, fade of the video file so now we can go to composition say add to render queue and just delete these other guys and then just do what you guys just did right there again h.264 format options and make sure you guys select audio output hit OK and hit render and it'll start rendering from the beginning with your fade and everything on it so I hope this tutorial really helped you guys out. If you guys do have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the just, uh, comment section below. I'll always answer to you guys as soon as possible. So guys, until next time, my name is Andrew from Posh Designs. I make quality graphics for free, and I make your visions a reality. Renome and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh, oh, just let me oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me oh. Fuck off.
all that shit, just let me go Owers and tastemakers, makers, no chaser Gets the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker Cut the middle man